Hi, in this video I'm going to describe some aspects that one should consider when buying LED or fluorescent lights. The first thing is I've got, I've got some different makes and some uh, fluorescent lights, LED, these ones all in the front are LED, these are fluorescent lights, I'm going to discuss the lifespan, the lumens and the power. Okay, let's start with the LED 6 watt option. Now I've got two 6 watt from two different manufacturers. Now the first thing we can see is this is a Duracell, this is a Philips, these are both good brands. Now this one says 6 watts is equivalent to a 40 watt incandescent light. And on this one, the Philips one says 6 watts is similar to a 60 watt. So immediately you can see that the manufacturers do not all agree on the brightness, on the um, equivalent wattage of the lights. The next thing are, one should look at are the lumens. Now looking at this Philips, this is a good brand. We can see that this is a cool white and the lumens are stated here. It says 440 lumens at an efficiency of 73 lumens per watt. And this one also says 407, uh, this one says 470 lumens. And which actually means this uh, Duracell is even more efficient. Because the Philips is rated at 440 while the Duracell is 470. And the Philips is rated at 73 lumens per watt, while the Duracell is 78 lumens per watt. So on face value, just looking at these two bulbs, we can see that uh, so far the Duracell is, is better than the Philips. Now, the next thing is the lifespan. The Duracell is rated at 25,000 hours, and this particular Philips Remember, there are different models. This particular Philips is rated at, let's find it, 5,000 hours. Now, this is a big deal. If you are choosing between these two globes, and these two globes, when I purchased them at the store, were the same price. We have a globe here by Duracell offering 25,000 hours while the Philips at the same price is offering 5,000 hours. That means that this Duracell is supposed to last five times as long as this Philips. So that's already a, um, a very important aspect in choosing the globe is which will last longer. Now comparing it to fluorescent lights, I've got an Osram, also a highly respected brand in the lighting uh, field and this Osram says 8,000 hours Then I've got another Osram here This Osram says 6,000 hours and then I've got a Eurolux and this Eurolux says 6,000 hours the fluorescent options are usually 5 to 15,000 hours so this raises an interesting question. What is the point of buying this model of Philips when it's only 5,000 hours? Well, I suppose they advertised this, this was on special, but a competitor has the similar product. In fact, it's it, according to the specs, it is actually superior. It's 470 lumens and it lasts five times as long. Okay, now let's open them up and look a bit more closely. The Duracell, and the Philips. Now, one can weigh these and see if there's any difference in the weight, just out of interest. Let's just do that. Alright, the Philips is, th call it 40 grams. And the Duracell being quite a bit bigger is 74 grams. So we can see that the Duracell weighs more. Look, it is bigger. Looking at some more details, um, it does state the 
voltage it's 48 to 250 volts so this can tolerate a wide voltage range while the Duracell can only tolerate 220 to 240 volts so this is uh, mainly for Europe and some other countries with the 220 volts and this one this Philips can can actually be installed anywhere so that's also important is the voltage that you can uh, supply the light um, the next thing is the color now there's no change in price for whether it's warm white or cool white in this case the Duracell happens to be warm white and the Philips happens to be cool white I have another Philips here which happens to be warm white so you should not worry about whether it's warm white or cool white in terms of the cost there should not be a cost difference and that, now the next thing I want to cover is whether it is dimmable or not dimmable now this Duracell is not dimmable it even says here not dimmable so this Philips here is also not dimmable so if you need a light, an LED light that is dimmable and many fluorescent lights are also not dimmable then you would need to choose one that is dimmable for example this particular Duracell is dimmable uh, also 25,000 hours there's the temperature and one should always check the lumens per watt because that's you know the reason for using the LED is the lifespan and the energy saving so we will always want the most efficient light so this is 66 lumens per watt much less uh, efficient and if I have a look at this particular LED light it's quite different from the rest you can see that this is not frosted this is what you call a frosted uh, glass or plastic and this one well is actually glass is not frosted and now there you can actually see what's inside the housing it's actually just LEDs and it's warm white I can see it and then they're actually yellow or, or orange now moving on I have another Philips globe here now this one happens to be 12.5 watts and they are saying it's equivalent to 75 watts of incandescent lighting now what is interesting is how the difference between the budget range Philips and the higher range Philips this one lifespan as we already uh, had a look at said 5,000 hours while this Philips says last 15 years up to 15 years now let's look at the hours um, the hours should be stated the hours are stated here at 15,000 hours so there's a difference between this range of Philips globe and this range of Philips globe while the packaging does look the same these are not this in the same range this one is not is a, is not is this one does not have a long lifespan it is only rated at 5000 hours whereas this one is rated at 15000 hours and that is probably why it costs so much more apart from the fact that it is 12 and a half watts so having a look at this globe we can see that uh, it's it's fairly heavy um, it's also warm white the voltage that it can accept is only 220 to 240 volts so it cannot it does not have the same range of input voltage as this one and this would be equivalent to a 75 watt incandescent globe now more important is actually the lumens so this one is rated at 1055 lumens remember the Duracell we had now of 6 watts was rated at 470 lumens now if we look at some of the older um, fluorescent lights we can see that this is a 15 watt fluorescent light rated at 900 lumens so we can see that for 15 watts which is um, a few watts more than this 12.5 it's only giving us 900 lumens whereas this 12.5 watts is giving us 1055 lumens so that should is already describe to already depict how more how, how much better the LED option is in that the lumens are higher on the LED I will get to more um, uh, reasons for why one should look at an LED light here I have a, another brand it's an 11 watt globe 
and the lumens are 550. So that is closer to the Duracell which was 470. Now 6 watts is giving me 470 lumens while this one is 11 watts giving me 550. So we can see that it's almost half the uh, wattage for the LED giving me the same amount of light. But that's not the only reason why one should look at LED uh, globes. The next thing is that uh, fluorescent lights don't need don't like to be switched on and off, on and off. If you go to the high, your, your light switch and you switch it on, one should actually just leave it on. When you switch it on and off, it actually ages the fluorescent uh, light. While LED does not suffer from that same problem. In fact, they even say how many switching times it can, it can tolerate. I think it's written on the Philips, um, maybe this one. It says one can switch it on. Um, not dimmable. Uh, yeah, this Duracell actually says 30,000 operations. 30,000 operations. Now, if you do 30,000 operations on the fluorescent lights, you will wear the, the lifespan out considerably. In fact, the data sheet for the fluorescent light has to take into consideration how many switching cycles. Uh, if it's just left on consist continuously for hours, it'll actually last longer than if it's switched on for the same amount of hours, but toggled. Maybe every hour you switch it on and off. For example, if I have to leave this on for 12 hours, versus if I have to leave this on for 5 hours, but every hour switch it on and off, you'll find that th this will last longer being left on longer, surprisingly. It's that switching on and off that uh, actually ages the fluorescent light. The next uh, shortcoming of the fluorescent light is the um, the rating factor. What that means is that yes it says 1120 lumens for this 18 watt uh, Osram uh, globe but you will not get that towards the third year of life. You see this says it'll last three years but actually about a you know, maybe a few months in, you'll start seeing the lumens drop off quite considerably. In fact, on many fluorescent tubes, the lumens drop can drop more than 40%. It can actually drop by half. So that means by the end of the life, excuse me, by the end of the lifespan of this globe, you might be getting 600 lumens, which puts you in this category. Um, sorry, which puts you in this category. Now look at the difference. This is a 15, 18 watt and this is an 11 watt. So suddenly an 18 watt globe actually becomes uh, giving you the brightness of say a 11 watt globe while still using 18 watts. So these are the shortcomings of fluorescent and yes fluorescent is far more efficient than tungsten, quartz, sodium vapor. Um, it, all, it really depends on the application. But in terms of lumen per watt, yes, there is an argument still for mercury vapor and sodium. But in terms of home use, uh, the LED really is going to push out the fluorescent lights because of the efficiency of the LED technology. In my next video, I'm going to describe how you calculate the costs between the LED and the fluorescent, how you actually determine the saving in electricity. So to wrap up, the reasons for going LED over fluorescent is it is more efficient, the lifespan is longer, however do not be fooled, there are LED lights which do not last the full time as the higher range LED lights. For example, this one lasts one third the lifespan of this one and it is rated at one fifth the, the lifespan of this one. And um, this is not to knock any specific product, there are Philips LED lights that are um, um, having a long lifespan, it's just I'm just giving you for explanation purposes the difference. This Philips, however, is having the ability to have a wider voltage input, can use it in almost any country, while this one is only countries using 220 volts, same as this one. So this is these are country specific. Um, and then the other aspect is is it dimmable? This one is dimmable. You must just check the the option there is it dimmable. And the the last thing is. Um, one should also check if you want warm white or cool white and obviously whether you want 
bayonet the, or the screw in the E27 uh, fitting. And that brings me to the end of this video and thanks for watching.